Hey what's up everybody, my name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2 Valkyrie, the playthrough where we only deploy female soldiers, as long as we can of course. The, uh, yeah, the Advent have attacked one of our campsites and we need to uh, stop them. The problem is, in stark contrast to what we've seen before of retaliation sites, this time we also have a chance of encountering the assassin again. Um, this is the squad for now. I think I'm going to make a slight adjustment here just to see who else we can take with us. Nope, this is going to be it. So, Kelly, Brown, uh, Yelena, Dragunova, Heidi Hogan and Lisbeth Nilsson. This is the team we're going to head out with. Hopefully we can use Dragunova to her adv our advantage because she has the shadow ability. So she should be able to stay in the shadows for most of the mission, rescuing civilians as we go along. But we'll see about that in the next mission. Here we go. So a few things about retaliation sites. We saw that in the movie already, in the cutscene already, but uh, there's faceless, so some of the civilians will not actually be civilians. And here we go, Operation First Glove is a go. We just got word the aliens are attacking a resistance outpost in this region, and they're not taking any prisoners. These people need our help. We're heading in to make sure the aliens regret coming after the resistance. Neutralize all hostile contacts in the area and secure the camp. So neutralize all enemy forces, but Bradford seems to be forgetting that we need to rescue at least six civilians, which is going to be hard to do, especially on this difficulty. With uh, less than experienced soldiers, we're going to have to see how this pans out. We have a serious chance of losing someone here. The only thing we really have that's going to be big damage is uh, Yelena's sticky bomb. Dennis 1-5, hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. These two are working together like a well-oiled machine. As long as we keep them close to each other in the field, they'll reap various tactical benefits as their bond continues to grow. So there we go, that's the bond in action. So Kelly and I think it's Heidi are uh, in bond. Yeah, there we go. Heidi and Kelly both have a bond. So we can see that with that green square. Okay. So since uh, Elena is still in shadow, we might as well use her to scope the place up a bit. I'm just going to quickly take a look around. The overlay might makes this a bit harder. So this is definitely the corner of the map. And it moves out to the north and the west here. Okay. Even though she is in concealment, we might as well keep her in cover. But I'm going to use her to aggressively scout around. So Shadow is going to keep us safe. But remember, some of these civilians might not actually be civilians. So just slowly move up. As long as we stay behind cover, this should be fine. I'm on the move. So, at least we know that if we go over here, Alien patrol. Sectoid and I think that was a normal trooper, right? Yeah, a normal trooper and a Sectoid, which is something we can deal with. That's definitely something we can deal with for now. So let's just move up and see what happens. So the Sectoid goes for one of the civilians, sadly one of those that, were really, that was really, really close to us. We could have saved that one. And the trooper, is the trooper going to take anything out? No? Okay. So that appears to be it. So let's start with Elena again. Elena can go and save... Whew. Can go and save a few people. But of course, she is in danger if she tries to do that. Because if this is a faceless... I'm gonna be in trouble. But, no rest for the wicked, I suppose. Let's go save this guy. There we go. Region income increased. That's one. And we could technically go and save this one as well, but I'm... I think it's weird that the trooper didn't go for him. Because I would think that the trooper would have easily been able to kill that one. So I'm just going to move it back. So we still have scythe on them. And then... I could take the first shot on the sectoid, although that's 29% chance. Because now, of course, he's in cover. Um, but we're really, really far away. I'm gonna try. Can I put Lisbeth up top here? I could, but I risk 
a lot. I'm not entirely sure whether this will trigger anybody. Because I feel like Elena only sees the sectoid right now. I'm gonna try it. On it. This might hurt. But I don't think she triggered anybody. I think she stays on the squad side. Yeah, so okay, so now she has a perfect position. And I think I'm gonna keep Heidi and Liz, uh, Kelly like this for now. They're close enough to each other to reap their benefits. So it. let's just Come stay yet. on Overwatch. If that's that, yeah, they're coming closer. There we go. That's a shotgun from the other side of the map, so that's probably gonna miss. But that's one, and I'm hoping that trooper goes even further. So, sectoid we can't really see, because the trooper's in the way. And there we go, another shot. So, Kelly takes her shot. But that's also a miss, okay. No biggie. No biggie, sadly, we couldn't take that shot on the trooper. Oh, and then we get a... A trooper and an officer, but I don't think they saw us. I don't think they saw us. Yeah, okay, so they're out of frame. Now. Now, now, now. Um, the sectoid is in full cover. The trooper is as well, but the trooper has is in not such a good position. Um, there's, wait, what the hell is this? I could blow that up. Where is the sectoid precisely? Compared to the explosive. Wait, do I kill civilians with that? I don't see any. But that explosion will wreak havoc on that area. So I either can go for a 95% shot, which might crit and kill him. Or we could leave that for last, because I know we're flanking, right? Yeah, so we're flanking. So if I take this shot... There we go, 95% shot, that's 6 damage, so now the explosion will definitely kill the sectoid. Uh, we get a flanking shot bonus there. I could now go for the civilian here, and then get a... Uh... Ooh, this is dangerous, but... I think I first need to take care of the, uh, the sectoid. Let's go towards Kelly. Move up, Kelly. Moving out. There we go. That gives a sight on the sectoid and the explosive house. <laughs> that, that looks like a house to me. Uh, I just... I'm out of sword range, I think. Or not. This could technically be sword range, right? Yeah, I could go over here and then sword the trooper. Uh, let's try that. Because I think I have a guaranteed kill on the sectoid. And there we go. That's a critical. Seven damage. Holy crap. Okay. And then we have Kelly. Who can now disable, shoot the explosive, whatever the hell that is supposed to be. And I think everybody else is out of the way. So let's just fire at that. And that kills. That killed some. I did five damage to something else. Uh, nope, it wasn't a civilian. Because the civilians, yeah, only lost two civilians, and that was the ones that I saw. I apparently am not. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Okay, so nothing happens. I'm not gonna trigger. Do I see those other two? No, I don't. Um, I could throw the claymore. You know what? I'm just gonna go into Overwatch. So that's that same trooper and officer again. Thomas White dies. Sorry, Thomas. I hate that they give civil civilians names in XCOM 2. Okay. Okay. We're getting closer. Um, now. Now, now, now. Heidi. Heidi has a lot of range by walking. So I need to be careful that I don't trigger anything else like that so i think if i stand right behind a tree here that's another save As you order, Commander. and then i get sight on There's an alien patrol yeah nearby. on the trooper and the run. officer so that's one of them gone 
and then I can go with Heidi right next to this one and try to save him as well. If that's a faceless, I have a shotgun right next to him. No, okay. So it's not. So we saved three civilians, which is really, really good. But I want to avoid... I could kill the trooper right now or try and kill the trooper. At this range, I can kill him in one go. And he's out of cover. But if I trigger them now, they have all the shots, of course. Um, so I think I'm just going to move up uh, Cali over here. Roger that. Should I reload? I probably should reload. Yeah, I'm going to reload. So reload Cali. And then prep the shotgun with an Overwatch shot. And the sniper rifle as well. And yeah, okay, Elena as well. I could have saved that last civilian probably. Does that trigger? No. They're just still happily murdering civilians. Sorry, Lena. Lena, no. But did those two other guys? Left and right, Commander. We need to get these people out of here. Okay, so that means Lisbeth. Lisbeth. Ooh, we can start with a shot on the officer. The officer would be nice, right? Because if I can crit, he's dead immediately. And he's... Officers have been giving me the most trouble. Um... Yeah, let's go for the officer. Here we go. 83%. It's an ambush shot. And at 6 damage. It's a lot, but just not enough. And there's the officer and the trooper. They move forward. And the civilians are starting to run away. So Elena is close enough to kill stragglers. Uh, and the shotgun, where is this guy positioned? So that's half cover, I'm assuming. Um, I could sword. Need to be careful here. Because that civilian now went up to... Up to the bus, the caravan here. Uh, so we have 48. That's not good, right? That's definitely not good. But Heidi... Heidi, Heidi, Heidi. I think if I give you one extra action point, you can actually go over here. Where was that other one? I think they were over here in the house somewhere. So I think they're far enough away. Um, I first need to get a, a shot on the officer. I have a grenade left. I could use a grenade as well if I want to. Because Elena's vector rifle goes, yeah, it's 3 to 4 damage. But right now I don't have a good shot. But if I get a Heidi close enough, I could actually throw that grenade and just go for the sure thing. So, throw grenades. Right on top of here, destroying the tree and the officer in the progress, in the process. There we go. Second kill for Heidi this match. And Heidi gets her promotion. So now, I think if I move over here. I will go. Like that. And I have a flank shot on the trooper. So if I shoot him from here, it's 50% that I get spotted, but there we go, he's dead. So I'm guessing that, does that reveal? No, nope, not revealed. All right, so I need to take that chance to now push Kelly further as well, because Kelly is too far away right now. And that's it. So we killed four out of probably six aliens, as far as we've seen. There might actually be another faces on the field as well, but civilians left and right, Commander. We need to get these people out of here. So we're still at three, and there's only five civilians left. So I need to start saving civilians. I really need to do that right now, because if that doesn't happen, then we are basically boned. So first civilian is this one. I go where I am needed. So Elena's gonna save that one, hopefully. Oh god. That's not good. Yeah. So that's a faceless. That means, are we spotted? Some kind of shapeshifters. I'm 
I'm guessing this is it. It is a Have we revealed? Okay. Species. If only we had some means of containment. Uh, Don't even think about it. Hmm. So we have a few shots at it, which is good, of course. Uh, I think I can sort it with... Because it's technically an organic enemy, so... I could go and sort it. Slash, so I have uh, an 88% hit chance to hit it with the slash. You know what? Let's first check our sniper rifle, who has one more shot. It's a 77% shot, so it's definitely not guaranteed. But here we go. For all the marbles... And that's a costly miss. Negative damage. Okay. Um, Yelena's gonna have to fire as well, I think. Um, Heidi. Heidi. Heidi with the swords. Gonna have to wait. So let's do Outrider first. That's a 100% shot. But it's only gonna do 3 to 4 damage. So that's not a lot. Um, Kelly, get closer. Good copy. That still gives us sight and that's 70% chance to do up to 5 damage. We can't crit this thing. And that's 3 damage. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. And Yaleda is right in front of it. Um, I could... Yeah, I'm just gonna have to fire like this. Ah, okay. I for some reason thought it didn't trigger. So that's that thing. And then the sword. Please kill it. Please kill it. Please kill... So if I... Can I please? No. There we go. Slash on the corner. So I'm far enough away from the sector and the trooper that is still there. Oh god. 88% chance and I need to hit 4 damage. At least 4 damage. So please Heidi, get your third kill of the match. I don't even want to watch. I don't even want to watch. I don't even want to watch. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, but that means that they can still kill another civilian if they want to. Okay, no. They detect us. So that means that they're going to start moving closer. So that's a trooper. What is, why is the camera going over there? I hope the buzz isn't going to explode. No, it's not. Okay. Do we have a sniper shot? Even if we would have, I can't because we need to reload. So this is really bad. Detonate an environmental explosive. Oh. 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 I didn't think that ability would work like that. I thought it was going to work on the Claymore. Double the radius, but aren't we in the radius? Because <laughs> that's definitely going to kill the trooper. Huh. Or I can do use the claymore, but the claymore, the reaper is not revealed when shooting the claymore or when it's triggered. Oh, this is gonna be This is gonna be clutch. Um So, first things first, we need to rescue civilians. Oh, uh, this tank station could explode as well, probably. Oh, and there's two. Aha. Would we be able to save those no, no, I can't save those two civilians without blowing myself up, so. Heidi, I know I do extra damage with the sword against sectoids, but the sectoid is just not close enough. So I'm going to have to use... Uh, Lisbeth is going to have to go down and reload. So let's start with that, because I can't do anything Rolling. with Lisbeth. So let's put her down. Uh, reload. And, and that's that, so she's ready for the next one. Then, then I'm really hesitating about the order here. Um, I think I put, need to put Heidi down next to the civilian. So we save at least that civilian. There's two more right next to that one car. And we can still lose two. But now I don't trust the radius of that car. Because so, now I could technically go down uh put myself in a better position like behind this thing but i'm not sure if i use remotes so remote starts 
that radius of the car, it just goes, aha, so it just is a square, which means that it won't kill, no, it definitely won't kill the trooper, because the trooper is behind the wall. I don't think it will even trigger that wall, but I can use the claymore. Yeah, use the claymore. So the claymore is just like a grenade, but if I can put it in a position that it hits, because it does five damage, that it hits the trooper. Wait, wait, wait. I still need to go to a better position first. Um, so let's go down. Um, like over here somewhere. Moving is ordered. There we go. Then put the claymore. I could actually go into shadow again. Um, the Reaper is not revealed when shooting the claymore or when it's triggered. Can I just go into shadow now? Because that doesn't... Okay. That doesn't use up a, a, a an action, so... Let's put the claymore over there. And that is now ready. And now I think, yes, Heidi can actually shoot the claymore instead. And if you shoot the claymore... That kills the... Okay, so that kills the trooper, right? Yeah, okay. So then we have Kelly. Uh, Kelly, 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 Kelly. I think Kelly should be fine. Uh, just behind this tree here. Because if I put her here, I can put it on Overwatch. And I could... I could, on the other hand, give another action point to... Haha, -ha, to Heidi. So give her an action point. I'm gonna use that now. And and now I can put Kelly on Overwatch. That's gonna be nice, because that thing is gonna have to come out. And an Overwatch with a shotgun. Ooh, that's five damage. I'll take that. I'm hoping he doesn't flank. I don't think he can. So the civilian runs away. But I don't think the sector can do anything now. Yeah, there goes the second move. You can't shoot. You can't shoot. Don't give me the weird camera angle. So let's move Kelly closer. I think Kelly still needs her promotion. So Kelly a bit closer. It's probably going to be a very bad shot, but might as well try this out. 33%. Here we go. And that's a miss. No biggie. You need to be careful that I don't blow anything up. I can use the sword to finish this if I want to. Um, because everybody else is a bit too far away. Because I could use Elena. But I'm pretty sure that if I put her over here, she won't have... What's her shot right now? 41. This is not a dull deal, by the way. Could put her... Huh. I could put her up here. But then I probably the roof is going to block the shot, so... Put her a little bit closer. There we go. I could technically use remote start to kill him off. Because I'm guessing that the... Uh... Oh, wow. No. <laughs> yeah, I could blow up the car I'm standing next to. Um... Oh, the camera angles on this are incredibly annoying. This looks like it's going to hit him. But... <laughs> I don't see a thing. This is useless. Oh, I could just blow up the tanky standing next to. Okay, so that's going to be my final attempt. Because I'm afraid that that car is going to blow up as well. So I still have Heidi though. So if I have a guaranteed kill with the tank. I could just put Heidi over Go here now. to save the civilian. Go on, head to the ship. Um... And then move back. I think so, right? So move back as far as possible, even behind this cactus over here. On and then Outrider you can trigger the remote detonation. This is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be too dangerous. <laughs> I'm gonna blow myself up. Because if this triggers the car. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Always observe your surroundings. This is gonna... 
I think that's right. We killed the sectoids. Oh my god. We're not picking up any additional contacts. Please don't blow anything else up now. There we go. That was flawless. So 8 out of 13 civilians rescued, 8 turns, 7 enemies killed, and nobody wounded or killed. So that was amazing. Operation First Glove in the bag. Despite the best efforts of our noble peacekeepers, their work today to wipe clear an unauthorized camp belonging to criminal elements outside the city was thwarted by the barbaric group XCOM. No, that we will not be deterred by this ongoing campaign against peace. So there we go. We, uh, for once, I really feel like we deserve that, uh, triumphic music because uh, our Valkyries did an amazing job and I love the remote start ability holy crap I thought that was just gonna work on the claymore or all the mines you could lay down but Impressive work, on everything the aliens are probably still wondering what hit them so sadly we don't get any more promotions uh, aside from Heidi but Heidi goes up to her next level she got uh, three kills I think in this mission uh, so let's do the promotion first so she goes up to Corporal and we get either Phantom or Blade Master. So Blade Master, all sword attacks deal plus 2 extra damage and have plus 10 aim. And Phantom, when the squad is revealed, this soldier remains concealed. So that is now less handy than it was before. And having those guaranteed hits in with the sword, plus 2 damage as well, that's going to come in really handy because the sword doesn't have any... Um, it doesn't have any ammo as well, so we can just keep using that. I think we need to go with Blade Master. Um, if we didn't have Elena, I would have gone for Phantom, because usually I do Phantom. But Le Elena basically has a better version of Phantom, which is amazing. So let's just go for Blade Master. And there we go. So uh, Elena is also up to 9 kills, but that was a lot of losses as well. And both Elena and Kelly are now tired. Uh, I don't seem to have upgraded that bond. But we kind of got an extra action out of that. Heidi could shoot the uh, Claymore because of the extra action that Kelly gave her. So Kelly still has zero kills. But at least it's something to start with. So continue on. And we get eight rescued civilians. And they have bolstered, they have bolstered the resistance. Because this is new I think. Increasing income in their region. And then the Advent Officer Corpse. Why is that an objective item? That's weird. And then we also have three trooper corpses, two sectoid corpses, and a faceless corpse. But no loot, because we blew them up. So at one time, the Tin Men were the most advanced infiltration units available to the, un to the aliens. Now we face a species capable of mimicking the human form at will. If we can come to understand how it is that they emulate us so effectively, Perhaps we could develop a tool to deceive them ourselves. You and your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. Impressive work. So the monthly supply reward has increased in East Africa and the income has increased by 24 supplies as well. So uh, that is that. Retaliation completed. But again, I feel because of those two extra tires... We have, yeah, we have a few rangers available still. Because um, mostly this is going to be rangers. Because everybody else is tired. So if you can get a few days, that would be awesome. So let's get back to the bridge. Um, burning convoy, increase region income. Let's hold off on that for now. Because I think I have... Still have those rookies. Just as you are driven to free your people from the perceived oppression of the elders, the burden of honor instilled upon me since my creation drives my service to the gods, regardless of their intention. Priority message oh, coming God. through. Or is that the end of the month? Now. Is that the end of the month? You have made yes. progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. So that's great. So one retaliation stopped, one guerrilla ops completed, one resistance ops completed, two re resistance rumors investigated, five the technologies researched, one covert action completed, and one soldier rescued. And Two soldiers lost, but let's not dwell on that. We get our monthly supplies, which is 174. So thank you for Chosen that. Chosen are a tough group to infiltrate, but we've managed to gather intel on their latest actions. 
and have a rough idea of how close each is to reaching their ultimate goal of locating the Avenger. So this is also new. So Conway Naylor, and since they're talking about that their job is to locate the Avenger, I'm starting to feel like they uh, they might actually have a way of doing that and hijack the Avenger like that. That might also be bad. But, planned activity retribution, a brutal crackdown on the resistance, permanently lowering XCOM's income. Okay, and there's two unknown chosen, of course. We've seen them in the uh, the cutscene. Commander, let's continue. We have intel suggesting the aliens are working on developments that threaten our ability to stop the Avatar project. We can conduct guerrilla operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We don't have the resources to intercede everywhere. So, and then we get the dark events added as well. The next retaliation strike is in four weeks, so at the end of this month. And we have two dark events, high alert. XCOM will not be concealed at the start of missions. That's an annoying one. And some advanced soldiers are equipped with rounds that cause the bleeding status effect. We don't want to get hit anyway. So I think high alert is most important to uh, try to foil that. So we'll see about that. So dark events are Command, not new, by the way. Factions have pledged their support to XCOM. And they're ready to carry out your orders. As our influence with these groups increases, our capabilities will grow in kind. Okay, so this is also new. Utilize the resistance. Commander, each month the resistance factions can be assigned orders which will provide bonuses to XCOM. As XCOM gains influence with the factions, additional orders will become available and they will be able to complete more orders per month. All skirmishers, all those freed from the Elder's bonds are eager to hear your orders, Commander. Inside job. All intel rewards increased by 10%. Resistance orders are powerful strategic abilities. Blah, 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 blah. Can only be activated at the end of each month. Private channel. All mission timers are increased by two turns. Mission timers. Okay. Got something new for us, Commander. My Reapers are up for taking on some additional orders. And infiltrate on timed missions. A timer does not begin until the squad has lost concealment. That is awesome. And guardian angels, covert, or actions will not be ambushed. Okay, so I can't, I can't do three. Although it looks like it, I can only do one. So I think that if we go with on time missions, the timer does not begin until the squad has lost concealment. That would be nice. Although all intel rewards increased by ten percent is also nice. I think the timers are always used to basically give us a chance either way. So increasing that makes it easier, but not. Um, because I think the, the ambushes on covert actions are going to be more important, so let's just do that. Uh, because I can't do anything else just yet. Okay. Okay, that's that. Okay, so sending out soldiers on those covert operations are, well, they're still in danger. Disrupt the Elder's plans has presented itself, and my followers are eager to proceed. Locate faction. Find the Templar. So that's the third faction, I'm assuming. Um, and otherwise, we have... Who? We have a few other things, because we can't do the Templars just yet. Because we need somebody who's Sergeant Plus. So there's no appropriate unit available. Or we could... Hmm, form a soldier bond with the Skirmishers. I think... Negate risk, soldier wounded, insufficient resources. So I need alloys if I want to have that extra reward. Ah, so I can I can get it. Okay, okay, okay. So I can negate the risk of getting a soldier wounded by giving them extra supplies to work with. The teamwork training is weird, right? I think recruiting the engineer is probably the smartest move right now. We do need to send out two soldiers. So let's put out uh, Emily Walker. And then Christina Castro. There we go. We don't have any alien alloys just yet. So the risks of getting a soldier wounded are very low. So let's confirm that action. And if we get this, we get a, uh, an engineer as a reward. All right. I kind of forgot about that. We need to get our supplies, of course. So let's just do one more day for the rookies. There we go. We get Hilde, Marina and Bertrand. And another one, Ben. So that's two guys and two women. Which is fine, I think. So that's that. So we need to get our supply drop. And we get Ben, Bertrand, Marina and Hilde. Okay, Hilde. 
Hilde and uh, Marina are definitely going on the squad. And then we get the alien machinery cleared. So that gives us 57 supplies and 6 alien alloys. Let's view the room. Because now I think we have enough money as well to make something. So the resistance ring allows managing covert actions and coordinating with the resistance factions. Don't need that just yet, I think. But we can build a facility over here. And I think that's going to be... I think the infirmary is going to be our most... Our top priority here. Because... Uh, we want to get rid of wounds as quickly as possible, so the infirmary first. Right away, I'll send word when it's up and running. And let's assign uh, the engineers. So there's one engineer over there, so that halves the time we need to build that. And then we can clear the alien debris with our other engineer, uh, Zoe King. So let's excavate. There we go. So that's five more days to clear that. And 11 days for the infirmary. That seems to be okay. So let's head towards our newly gathered troops. And sadly, we need to uh, dismiss two of them. So uh, they're already at the bottom. So kind of makes sense there. So Bertrand, I'm sorry. You're a dude. So uh, dismiss. And Ben McDonald, same. Um, I'm sorry, bo buddy. Well, but uh, need to dismiss you as well. Really and now we have Hilde Carlson. 65 aim. Research. And Marina Ivanova, also 65 aim, and 44 and 41 will. And Hilda is actually gifted with combat intelligence, which is also good. So remember those two, they're gonna come in handy later on. But pretty much everybody is still tired at the moment. Um, or on a covert action, so we, I think we just have enough for an entire squad. So let's head to the bridge and hopefully we get a few more people out of tired. And get our supplies, by the way, because we're scanning for that. There we go. We do get them in chunks. There we go. We got our supplies. So let's ignore Reaper HQ and see what else we got here. We got supplies or the burning convoy or we can start making contact with regions. Uh, I think it won't hurt to make contact with West Africa. Because um, there's not really anything that interesting on the map right now. Increased region income is always nice, but of course, I think we need to prioritize making contact now. So let's make contact with West Africa. After we pay the initial intel cost to make contact, we'll have to scan the region for a few days before the local resistance cell comes out of hiding. Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. Okay, so let's do exactly that. 40 intel is... Plan we have plenty, we have 118 of that, so let's just go to West Africa. And then we get incoming resistance communication during scanning. Hello, Commander. It would seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. And there we go, we have our main threats. We're tracking the aliens' progress on this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. 
The completion of the Avatar project is the Alliance's ultimate goal, Commander. We must stop the project before it's too late. And there we have the timer. And it's filling up rather nicely already. Three bars of the 12 or 11. That's going to be uh, more and more important, but we can deal with that later. So the black side is also something we can uh, take out to reduce that timer again. But for now, we don't really need to worry about that. So let's continue scanning and making contact with West Africa. And there we go. We get our next guerrilla operation. So let's review our targets. So either we go with... Well, that's definitely East Africa then. So counters dark events, high alerts. Okay. Setting course for East so we need to head over there again. We didn't get ambushed by the assassin, by the way, during the retaliation. That would have hurt. But it uh, seems like a few people at least are awake again, are out of uh, tiredness. Um, and I think, so if we can get Sarah... I'll get rid of Lisbeth here. She, she did nicely the last time, but I feel like we need somebody else. Yeah, Jacqueline. Um, a few of the other people are actually available as well. I probably shouldn't go with all corporals. So let's swap out Heidi as well, because Heidi's buddy is not here, so we might as well wait on her buddy then. And we can swap her out for Tatiana and get us going like this. So this is basically the squad we're going to use next time. So Sarah Klein, Alessia Sella, Tatiana Sidorova and Jacqueline Morel. So that's our Valkyrie squad for the next mission. And we actually get 149 supplies for that. So that's going to be nice. Operation Cryptic Laughter. But before we do that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like it right here in YouTube and the comment section down below. And otherwise, I thank you enormously for watching. And see you guys in the next episode of XCOM 2 Valkyrie. Goodbye.